Hello and welcome back to Prolapscos, the Marble Wizard channel. Uh, if it isn't welcome back, uh, would you please subscribe? We're two subscribers away from 10 subscribers and that would be amazing. But yeah, this video is a bit different as you probably can see by the title. This is one notable moment from every race of the Marble 1 Season 2. Now, what this means is every race entails both the race and the qualifying section. So I'd say let's just get right into this. Now, race one, I decided to take Speedy getting stuck in the conveyor belt, which was, we can see here, it was fun enough, the first ever red flag and yellow flag of Marble 1 Season 2. You saw it there at the bottom left. And I'll just skip a bit forward to the replay. Here you go. Is being checked by the medics. They are going to restart the race. You see the first restart and everything. They were in, but a dangerous situation there for Speedy. Getting caught in that mechanism. Let's see. There you go. Here first go. it goes up and then oh over. Gosh, just shot right up and very then scary moment. Right. And there you have Roldo. Uh, yeah, that was fun. Uh, the winner of that race was Yellow Eye for the Crazy Cat's Eyes. Uh, now, the second one, I forgot to skip back, obviously, because I've tried to record this a few times, to be honest. Yeah, the moment I chose for race two was Snowstorm's amazing fire marble overtake, which was in lap eight. You see it here coming. I've probably sca skipped a bit far back. You see it falls back onto eight there behind Red Eye. And then, just out of nowhere, this section there. Especially this season with as competitive as the mid pack is. Look at that overtake. Probably the best overtake in Marble One history. Now, unfortunately for Snowstorm and Snowballs, uh, it didn't last. They ended up finishing 11th, uh, which is uh, not good. But I think, if I remember correctly, they did get faster slap. But uh, the winner of that race was Mimo from Team Momo. Now, I will just quickly move over to race number three, which was the Honey Dome. And uh, quite, well, not really surprisingly, I chose uh, Starry going from 15th to 2nd. Uh, because of course I'm a Team Galactic fan, so I have to take what we can get. This story there, a horrible there, a beautiful block on Yellow Eye, and yeah, it was. Yeah, it was our first points and as well our first medal of the Marvel One Season Two. Uh, uh, of course the winner was Speedy, as you can see there. To savage speeders but yeah i love that moment uh i was actually wearing this afterwards because i was so sure we we're not gonna do anything then we jumped from 15th to second which i just it makes me happy but yeah let's move on to race number four which was the aqua Murring. uh from this one i think it's quite obvious since if you can see where we are this is the first qualifying one and i think everyone knows what this is Spot in the standings by four points you see here, Yellow and Tumult now. Justice for Mel Yellow. <laughs> Yellow is gone. Yellow des deserved so much more. Rapidly, I think it was was yeah. Rapidly, did horrible in qualifying, and he shouldn't have qualified. When he did qualify, he finished sixteenth, which was the first moment of rapidly being a cube. I'm quite sure, uh, but he shouldn't have qualified because M Mellow Yellow should have actually gotten a rerun because uh, the it wasn't a driver's fault it was a track malfunction like if for example uh, Tumult now came down here and this it hit this came loose this side hit them that side and kicked him over he would have gotten a rerun and the same should have gone with Mellow Yellow because you can see will not whenever they show it. Medics will not be and bounced off. The is it the there? Top. It's a bit of a, a near that like I want to call it. Like you That's see here, he, he starts, he, he goes to that side, then bounces off this side, which is a track malfunction, not a driver's fault. So he should have actually gotten a rerun. He didn't, and rapidly didn't get points. But the winner of that race was Red Eye for the Crazy Cat's Eyes. Now, race number five, which was a Tumult Turnpike. 
And if you watched the last video, you should probably know I've said this is my favourite moment of this season, which was uh, Starry's block on Origin, which in my opinion is the block of the century. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you see it here coming. Uh, right after the bank turn, you see Origin. There you have it. What a block that is. You also see like the fight between them. Origin loses it a bit there in bank turn, get overtaken there, and then just suddenly boom down to 15. Now, for Starry, Starry finished uh, fifth with faster slaps, and uh, and uh, Origin finished, uh, I think it was 13 or 12. So, yeah, that block did actually do something. You see, they were very close from the start lap to the end, and then after this, they weren't. Uh, but yeah, I'll move on now to race number six, which was at, oh wait, at the Arctic Circuit. For this one, I've chosen uh, the first medal mania. If you don't know what I mean about this, I'll just quickly play it and explain it. It was the first gold for the Around Green Ducks, the and... Ducks. The only medal for the Raspberry races, which was for Rusty a Bron. You can see it there. Rusty number three. This one was chaotic, and you can see Pulsar 13th, obviously. But yeah, what race this was. Uh, but yeah, the first medal mania, because of course Green Ducks and Raspberry races got the first medal. Uh, well, not first medal, Bill. I think Billy had a medal, but. Oh. Like him alone also had one. But Dreamers definitely had a medal, but only medal for the Raspberry races. Uh, but yeah, I'll move on now to race in number seven, which I've chosen <laughs> quite a not, <laughs> quite a common one, which is, this is going to be the longest clip, I'm quite sure, but it is Rossi. Rossi? What the fuck am I on about? It was Rossi blocking Red Eye from Red overtaking Eye. the first blue flag of the season. Seconds. Which uh, jumps a spot was from lap 10 to, to 15. The edge of the you see there, there's Emilia blocking him, don't let him go by. Which makes this a very eye. close race. The blue flags are out. Red eye, <laughs> As you not see, just, Can Speedy he's just keeping him on his tail. Let's can't get past. Sector, he did no an amazing job on that. I feel like Rusty, Rusty, fuck. Rusty did amazing. Speedy just, Speedy made it all the way off. Now right on his tail. Pulsar was doing get the move done. fairly Speedy. well this race. Swizzes by. You can see. Now have to deal with Razzy. You wonder if there's going to be a protest at the end of this for Razzy not getting out of the way. An amazing. But then again, on the race. end of the lead lap, Razzy is allowed to fight. Speedy uses the draft Speedy got past, but then and dispatches the 16th place runner. Red Eye now has to get by once again, but Rassi's not going <laughs> Rassi away. just going past he again. The spot <laughs> oh, what a race this was. Lap. Another blue flag being deployed. It's just Speedy keeping him right there. He can't get eye. past. Who's getting a dose of similar medicine. Oh, difficulty there for Red Eye falls eight or ten lengths back. And but a great goes past. The third sector, and Red Eye Rossi is showing he's the best four. racer in the world. Just three laps this race. That, this was one of the best races. This is because Razzie it was entertaining and it was fun. <laughs> because you can just see Speedy, Bolt, just Yellop, Speedy Pulsar, and Zool Red Eye getting more and more Snoop frustrating. Rossi keeping it quite far away. But you can see the race Big between them became like very intense. Two laps to go. Come on. Red Eye gets and then by just... Razzie only to be hit. Yeah, I forgot to show this moment, fuck. Separated by a length, but See, after that brief got past contact, for one second. Momentum completely gone. And then just Red getting stopped there. Only to be hit. Red Red Eye was behind. pretty much at this Red point. If you've ever played happy. GTA Online Turning and been racing. The color, the when there's a person Razzie, that's doing horrible and is last, to fight to stay on the he's just becoming a cuck and blocking first place. Just annoy them. This Final is literally lap. what that was. Ready to begin. Red Eye's lead is 1.2 seconds. See, it became very close in the end. Down the back stretch they go. Pulls that fourth, the the which was weird. Red Eye, trying not to get caught up. You see, yeah, just 
but that lets speedy it got very back. close into the third sector S is he speedy just a few lengths back the gap is dropping on says the suddenly stretch. right behind around, red eye will hold on and capture the win the second and then of the falls off fourth the first... which was good news for me but yeah let's move on to grand prix or race number eight which i've actually chosen a weird one uh, Thunderbolts fans booing and being toxic after failing to qualify. This one was very shocking because Thunderbolts fans aren't really like toxic. Nineteenth, not good, but that does help. Momo. We can hear. And Yellow Eye goes to second place. Somewhat expected. Oh goodness, Momo. They get in, but just barely. Will they be affected by the host curse? Thunderbolts fans are actually booing because they did not make it into this race. Now. That's actually weird because Thunderbolts fans, like, I can expect Limus fans to boo, but they're shit at the moment. Thunderbolts was just a bit weird. But I have an honorable mention was worse, which was Mellow Yellow's only medal, which was, of course, in the Grand Prix. But the winner uh, of uh, the... Well, race number eight was uh, yellow eye for the crazy cat size not really surprising but yeah let's move on to race number nine i sound like chills yeah race number nine i've chosen waspy going from 16th at the start <laughs> to first this one i've just chosen yes. last lap you can check he was line. first place and uh, 16th place the at the start Maybe and then at, have more in the tank. at the end, it got very Taking close. Around that final turn. Heading across the line, it's going to be very close between them, but by nine hundredths of a second. You see it here, very Heading close at the, the end. Line, it's going to be very But yeah, I mean, the other, like, other very, very uh, interesting story is, of course, uh, Chris Gatsai's lowest ever qualifying and finish. They qualified in 15th and finished the race in 13th. The winner, of course, was the as you saw. Now, I'll have to turn the page because I've written everything down here. Now, race number 10. The place, Misty Mountain. And if you've seen my title of the video, I did. Three marbles stuck. The first one was Cruster, who you see now on the side. I'm, I'm just, if you haven't seen it, I'll try and show it over here. You see him go in and get stuck. Now, it went fairly normal for quite a while until this happened. Which. <laughs> may, which made Cluster be able and to get loose, finally, okay. because he was stuck. And, and then, the safety marble and, clus and Clutter, Clutter, not Cluster, Clutter, was able to get freed, of course, and then this happened. And then, after this happened, a very interesting thing happened. At, because last lap, it was 14 marbles starting, and you see, after in the final lap, sorry, actually fourth. I wanted to try and catch third. It was probably impossible. But then, from out of nowhere, like a angel sent from he heaven, we had another marble stuck on the last lap, which was Clementine for the Arages. As you can see, yeah, also Hazy winning at home was amazing. Uh, but <laughs> actually, Hazy also going from 16 to first. Another underdog, sorry. And then just suddenly. Suddenly, you see, Clementine did not finish, which was weird. As you can see there, stuck in the exact same place as the other marbles were. Now, let's just quickly move on to race number 11. And uh, it is actually, because the, the, a few of these were quite hard to find good moments for. Like, for example, I think it was at the Ocarina Ring. 
Uh, no, no, Aquaman Ring. I would think it was. Uh, which one was it? Arctic Circuit was quite hard, but this one is Starry's insane last two laps. And another will mention is Red Eye winning the M1 for Crazy Gas. That's the entire thing. You can see six, then getting into uh, fifth, and. Is it only two Red laps left? Hard tasks to do. Five. Point. No, five. Four marbles ahead. Uh, they're fifth. We just cannot say and, like, they have a hard job. Two laps left. No, three laps it would be. No, it wouldn't be. Two lap laps left. Uh, now there's only the one lap left. They're getting further and further behind. And then just suddenly, we had a blessing. Six. Which was, I think, in the next turn. Which was Hazy going high. And then fourth, unlike, please get top three. Top three at least. We're so close. Final lap. We get third from Blanche. Then, Ocean, the only race ahead of us, we overtake in one of the last turn. There we go. Overtake them there. And we fight the last few meters with them on our tail, being able to get second. This was one of my happiest moments. You see, amazing last two laps, and uh, yeah, it was a very good recovery, as he said. But yeah, we'll move on to the last one, which I've said, hop making P2. No, I'm just joking. The last one was rapidly clutching second place for... Oh, why is this bugged? Um, rapidly clutching second place for the Savage Speeders. I'll just show the entire last lap. You see, rapidly, of course, been a very bad racer this entire season. He has uh, been disappointing, to say that at least. But uh, this one, he shocked everyone by getting first place in the last one. Is it Pulsar? <laughs> of course. An honorable mention goes to Pulsar for going high on turn one and turn one ten times. That's like that's two thirds of the entire race. And it annoyed the shit out of me, uh, as you've probably seen. I've not gone over it, but yeah. The winner, of course, rapidly. And I, I feel like the only, main, the only good thing to do is to, is to actually say and say this and uh yeah i'll end off the video here uh i want to thank jmr for m putting on an amazing show amazing season of marble one i of course hope they will do it again either next year or this year but or on the autumn sign uh and yeah the next i will try and make one video per uh week until the new uh qualifying and of course, the Marble One, no Marble One, uh, the Marble League happens. But yeah, anyways, thank you all for watching the Marble Goggle Box this season, and thank you all for watching this video if you've made it this far. And I hope you'll have an amazing week, and I'll see you next week. Bye bye.